everyone and welcome back to Ghoulie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and today I want to show you how to make my delicious chocolate chip cookies or biscuits. As I just mentioned today I want to show you how to make my delicious chocolate chip cookies slash biscuits. Now this recipe is really easy to do and it's my birthday tomorrow so I thought I'd make myself a little sweet treat for my birthday and while I was making them I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious choc chip cookies. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my dry ingredients together. So in this bowl here I have 200 grams of ground oats so what I did was I got some oats and I poured them into my Nutribullet cup and I ground them up until they make a flour if you don't want to use ground oats you can use ordinary flour these are gluten free oats and the reason I use these is just simply because I'm gluten intolerant so these are really handy to have and they also make a really great flour as well you can use ordinary oats as well or you could use spelt flour if you wanted to if you wanted to make it a bit healthier and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into my mixing bowl and I'm going to add 200 grams of brown rice flour. Now in the original recipe I've said to add 100 grams of ground almonds and 100 grams of rice flour. Unfortunately I don't have any ground almonds so I'm actually using um, another 100 grams of rice flour and they still work really nicely so yeah I'm just going to add that in now. Um, Yes, if you wanted to use plain flour there and ground oats, then you could. You can do it any way you want to, really. You could adapt this recipe completely if you wanted to. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in one teaspoon of baking powder to all that as well. And then I'm just going to mix this together. And once these are all well mixed in, which they are now, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to move on to dealing with my wet ingredients. So now I'm going to cream my butter and my sugar together. In the original recipe I don't think I did this, I think what I did was I melted the butter down and then I added it to the flour mix with the sugar as well. But the other day I did it slightly differently so I will change the recipe for you. And I actually creamed the butter and the sugar together and I thought they tasted a bit better when they were creamed together. So in here I have just melted down my butter because it was slightly hard. Um, I would recommend getting your butter out of the fridge before you start this recipe for at least a couple of hours to let it soften basically. Um, and what I'm going to do, if I can get it out of here, hang on a second, oh, I've got this. I'm going to put this into my bowl, like so, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my sugar to that as well, and then I have a little electric whisk here, and I'm just going to whisk these together now. That's the butter nicely creamed together with the sugar. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. Um, I am using vegan butter, so I'm using something called vegan block. And these will be a vegan um, biscuit. But if you don't have uh, vegan block or you can't get vegan butter, then you can always use unsalted butter or you could use ghee as well. It doesn't have to be... You can make it um, vegetarian if you want to. It doesn't have to be vegan at all. Um, yeah. And I have a recipe for ghee as well, which I will link in the description box below for you. And all I'm doing here is just mixing the uh, wet ingredients, as I said with the dry ones, until this forms a really nice dough. So I'm just going to continue to do this now. I forgot to say that I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract to this as well. I'm just going to drizzle this all around, like so. And then finally, I'm going to add in my chopped chip cookies, and I'm just going to mix all of this together with my hand. So the chopped chip cookies just sink into the dough quite nicely, like so. I'll take a spoon help, that might help. So I'm just going to 
do this like so and now I'm going to roll this out and make it into the cookie so I'll show you that now. So I'm ready to start rolling my dough now and what I've got is a teddy bear cooker. You don't obviously need a teddy bear cooker. My son really likes this because his name is Ted and I sometimes call him teddy bear. So we have a cookie cutter shaped as a teddy bear. Um, so yes, you don't need one of these. You can use any shape you want. Obviously, if you're doing this with children, then shapes are a great thing to use. And I also have a rolling pin. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flour my board with some of the brown rice flour. As I said earlier, if you don't have brown rice flour, you could use plain flour or wholemeal, whatever you've got to hand, really. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll out some of this cookie dough now. So I'm going to roll it out until it's probably about a centimetre thick. I'd say that's about right. Um, and then I'm going to cut a cookie and put that on one of the spare balls over there. And then I'm just going to repeat this process until I've used up all of the dough. So as you can see, I've cut all my cookies now and I've made about 20 cookies, which is great. They should last us a little while. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these into the fridge for about half an hour. And the reason I put them in the fridge is simply because it makes them a bit crunchier if they're cooked from cold. So my biscuits have been in the fridge for about half an hour now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer them to my baking trays. So these baking trays, well this one is a Pampered Chef baking tray and this one I bought on Amazon. And these aren't actually baking trays, they're stoneware. And with stoneware you just simply put whatever you want onto the tray and then you can put it straight into the oven. If you haven't got stoneware then I would say just use a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper or a grease proof paper on top. Um, but the great thing about stoneware is it, was, it, it removes the badness from the food and only leaves the goodness. So it's fantastic for cooking things like biscuits as well. It makes them really crunchy. Um, yeah, so and I just love stoneware. I have to say that my Pampered Chef one does cook things slightly quicker than the other one does. But the other one normally sits on the bottom shelf anyway. So I'm not too sure whether it's the fact it sits on the bottom shelf or whether it's because it's a different type of stone maybe. So yes, all I'm doing now is just putting these teddy bears onto the stones or baking trays like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into the oven for about 15 minutes. I think these ones will cook faster than these ones though. So I'm going to put these into the oven now. So as you can see here, the bears are a lovely golden brown colour. So I'm going to take these out of the oven and I'm going to leave this but the bottom ones, as you can see, will need a little bit longer. So I'll move these to the top um, and just leave them in the oven for about five more minutes. So both batches of bears, our tea bear cookies, are now cooked. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove them from the stone and I'm going to put these onto a cooling rack. And then I shall be enjoying some of these for my birthday tomorrow really looking forward to them they smell delicious and my son is coming home this afternoon with a friend from school so i'm sure they're going to look forward to these as well um, they are really easy to do and i'll link the recipe in the description box below for you and it's on my blog googieskitchenlife.com as well so please go check that out if you want to um, there's lots of recipes on there there's family meals there's drinks, there's uh, biscuits, cakes, there's all sorts of breakfasts. There's lots of different ideas for you on there. Um, so yeah, if you want to follow me as well, I would be very grateful to you. So yeah, I'm going to leave these to cool now and then I'm going to enjoy some tomorrow. 
that's how you make my delicious chocolate chip cookies and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. I'm off to enjoy a couple of these now. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon.